Biennales or biennials means once every two years. It usually refers to any events that happen once every two years, but in the art world, it's a large-scale contemporary art exhibition that also happens once every two years. It started in Venice, Italy in 1895, then other countries started to have their own biennales. Now, there are over 270 biennales happening all around the world. And in Thailand, where I live, we have two biennales happening, Thailand Biennales and Macau Art Biennales. The difference is, Thailand Biennale is held in different provinces around Thailand each time, while Bangkok Art Biennale, as the name suggests, only happened in Bangkok. And recently, the latest edition of Bangkok Art Biennale 2022 was held in the theme of Chaos Calm. This is the third Bangkok Art Biennale after the first two that happened in 2018 and 2020. The theme Chaos Calm is like a reflection for these past few years with many things that happened, mainly the pandemic of COVID-19 and the Russian-Ukraine war. We could say that it's been quite an eventful years. One interesting thing in this theme is how it was written, with a colon symbol in the middle. It suggests that there are some relations between chaos and calm, which we are going to see from the artworks this year. This metal sculpture by British artist Anthony Gomley, named Contain and Connect. They are installed inside Wat Po, also known as the Temple of Reclining Buddha, in their own different courtyards next to each other. And because we could see one of them as being chaos while another is being calm, we could interpret that maybe chaos and calm are closer than we think. The next piece, this installation by Japanese artist Chiharu Shiota, named the Eye of the Storm, made with thousand sheets of paper connected with red ropes creating a form of a typhoon, which is a destructive thing, but has a windless area in its center. This piece also gives the ideas of how chaos and calm could be right next to each other, just like the way that the typhoon and its eye could exist together. Also, it's quite stunning, just imagine how they install this piece, how precise and cooperative they need to be. Next, this eight videos by the artist who has been with Banco Art Benele since the first one in 2018. Marina Abramovich. She is known to be the grandmother of performance art, but her works this year not only show her as a performer, but also a director. Like this piece that she installed a frame and let people come and scream, as her way to interpret the famous painting from Edward Munch, The Scream. This video of children playing soldier, which could seem like an innocent child play at first until you realize that it tells the story of how children are being forced to be part of an actual war. There are also artworks from really good Thai artists too. The first one is Montian Bunma, this Buddha cast in aluminium called Melting Void, which you can go in to smell some herb or have the feelings of a little mindfulness. It's worth to mention that the artwork is also installed next to the actual Buddha statue, which gives it a really nice touch. Another piece, which is also a metal sculpture that has a place to put herb inside, is made in the form of a lung. This piece called Arokaya Sala, which directly translated to the pavilions of no sickness. It was made shortly after his wife passed away and he fell ill himself. This next artist has made himself known through his Facebook page, uninspired by current events. His work are 3D computer graphic that actually inspired by the things that happens in Thailand, which can be found through social media like Facebook or Twitter. And because of this, most of the time, you really need to know what is going on to understand what happened, or at least some of the modern Thai culture. For example, this camouflage sandbag is referred to the brutalities in Thai militaries, where some new soldiers literally get beaten. Also, the artist works pretty fast. His work usually comes like a few hours after the news, and sometimes I even saw his work before I saw the news. This piece is from Kavita Watana Chayangkun. She is known from doing performance arts by using her body performing as an object. And in this piece, she turned herself into a smoke gun. Apart from that, there are these two screens of herself talking to each other, but they are not her. They are two artificial intelligence made by inputting data in. One about freedom and liberty, while another is control and order. They are made by Thai researcher who is currently in MIT, Pat Pataranutapon. 
His area is fluid interface. Next, this painting by Tarat Pon Chumsi. Although painting is known to be very old and traditional art mediums, she makes it contemporary with the idea that she didn't go to the actual place to paint, like what traditional painter would do, but using the data, which is photos of these places from Google Earth. These works tell the story of how sometimes we use the data on the internet to substitute what we cannot do or cannot go in real life, especially during the pandemic when many things are restricted, including traveling. The way she presents her work is by doing live painting in this space with a big frame. As if the viewers are watching a live stream of her painting through a screen. Talk about being live. The next piece is a live performance by Pichapa Wang Prasad Kun. Her performance is herself working in this glass cube, one meters on each side, with only essential stuff like her computer, earphone, book, water. She worked there a whole month during her working hours. This is the piece that anyone who lives in a big city could feel related. From how the working space and living space are getting smaller and smaller while the price of land is getting more and more expensive. We might be left with a space that is just enough to live but not enough to feel comfortable. This next piece is called Crying Sky by Nadanai Jit Banjong. It's an installation piece with these videos of a kite, a text about apocalypse, the sound that is said to be the mysterious sound that can be heard in many places around the world. The kite in the videos can be seen as a medium to communicate and negotiate between us people and something in the sky, could be heaven, could be God. Since the Benelay has happened around 4 months, I found some pieces that I personally like, like this piece by Ukrainian artist Chana Kadirova called Polynesia. They are rocks that were selected and cut to look like a loaf of bread. It was made specifically to be this kind of bread because its name in Ukrainian, Polynesia, is a word that the Russian cannot pronounce. So it's like a way to differentiate between friends and enemies. I think it's very simple, yet it's very neat. These cockroach stickers by Pakistani Canadian artist Tassin Kayam. They are called Pattern of Resilience telling stories about surviving, about how immigrants sometimes get treated badly because they are minorities, so they need to be together for survival. This installation piece by Filipino artist Sian Derit called Imperial Puppet Regalia. The artist himself has interest in militarism, especially in the Southeast Asia, including Thailand. It shows military uniform embroidered with red thread in a form of people's silhouette, symbolizing how sometimes soldiers consider people they kill almost like a badge of honors. This can easily be related to how the military government dealt with the pandemic and the protest during that time. And in Thailand, many cruel means were used like chemical waters or rubber bullets. These two sculptures by Chinese artist Su Chen, they are called Eternity and Evolution, made by combining two things with different origins such as Western, Eastern, Chinese, and African. This installation by Thai artist Arin Rung Chang called when the fish is chirping, which tell the stories about how young people are struggling, how their future and the future of this country seems quite concerned. This side that says cello, which is the Italian word meaning sky, by Marcello Malberti. It was originally a performance piece. The side was put up high in the sky with the help of the fire truck ladders, so you can see the world and the actual sky behind it. These buffalo sculptures by Thai artist Maitri Siribun, which are called Kwai Chaos and Kwai Kam. Kwai is Thai word for buffalo. And it has become quite viral because someone tried to climb one of the sculptures, Kwai Kam. Quite sarcastic that the Kam one got destroyed why the chaos one is in there. This year Bangkok Art Benelli also has other great works which you can check out in their website. This Benelli is quite a milestone for the art scene here, for we are able to see good artworks from both Thai and foreign artists. We could get accustomed to the contemporary art world in more global scale without having to fly to other countries. I really hope that this kind of big scale art exhibition could go on for the years to come and get more people interested in art, even though art is not an essential part in our lives, but it is something that could make us feel fulfilled, it could be meaningful, it could be enjoyed.